three biggest overeating pitfalls, and how you can avoid them. If you think you crave chocolate because you have a magnesium deficiency, think again. Cravings are normal, a combination of brain want and body desire. This one-two punch makes cravings feel nearly insurmountable at times. But people do try, and try again, to defeat them. Usually, people employ these strategies to deal with cravings. Eat around it. Ignore it. Give in and go overboard with food intake. Here's why none of them ever work, and what does. Scenario 1, Trying the Wrong Healthier Option Scenario 1, Trying the Wrong Healthier Option You really want some chips, but you say to yourself, too fattening, so I will have an apple instead. Well, apples are sweet and crunchy, not savory, salty, and crispy. Of course the apple doesn't do it. So you eat rice cakes, then some nuts, then a few carrots, and maybe even some crackers, and you still want the chips. Fix it, rather than eat around the chips, have some, but in the stated serving size, yes, count out 10 or 15 chips or whatever the bag indicates, in a bowl, sitting down and enjoying them. Trust me, you will consume far fewer calories and be more satisfied. Try these 20 healthy ways to cut 500 calories a day. Scenario 2, The Office Lore, You are on your way to lunch and spy a stray pizza or birthday cake in the office pantry. It looks good. Everyone is eating it. You are hungry. You are vulnerable. It is nearly impossible not to think about, let alone eat, the food you see before you. You can't expect yourself to ignore cravings when you are genuinely hungry. So, what to do? Fix it, go and eat a proper lunch, follow these six simple rules for packing a clean lunch. When you come by the pantry again, ask yourself if you're really hungry or if you can pass it up. Give yourself 10 minutes, and if you still want some, have a small slice. Chances are good that by the time 10 minutes go by, you'll be wrapped up in something else and make it through the rest of the day pantry food free. Scenario 3, giving up too early, the dreaded I have already blown it, therefore I might as well eat the whole, bag, box, carton, container. This is the door you don't want to pick. Okay, everyone has days when they're not perfect with eating, and sometimes those goodies are calling your name. But if you consistently think of having one treat or indulgence as blowing the whole day, you will blow most days. So what can you do? Fix it, try swaps. If you eat the cookies, then how about lightening up on the next meal, cutting back on the pasta, rice, or potatoes while emphasizing the lean protein and veggies. Healthy eating is not an all or nothing journey. It can't be. One day of gluttony does not ruin your health. So get all those negative and sabotaging thoughts out of your head. Those attitudes are what make you overeat not that single cookie at lunch. The article 3 Overeating Pitfalls, and How to Avoid Them, originally appeared on Bicycling.